Japan is a highly developed culturally and historically with a unique architectural identity. It offers a lot to those with an interest in architecture. Numerous ideologies and notions have influenced the wide variety of traditional Japanese architectural designs. The Japan's architectural styles have evolved over the time as a result of geography, climate, the availability of raw materials, and even the path of major disasters. Eventually, elements of neighboring Asian cultures as well as Western influences were introduced into Japanese architecture. Japanese modern architecture history is divided into four periods. Period 1. The first time period was from 1995 to the Tokyo Olympic Games in 1964, during which time society and organization were renewed. It was beginning to stabilize, challenging not only architecture but everything. The 1964 Games offered a chance to demonstrate Japanese creativity, invention, and design. Thinking on a goal, global platform, as they were Japan's first significant in engagement with the world after the Second World War. It introduced Japan to the world not only through sports but also through design. As what Simon Wright says, the director programming at Japan House London, it became the blueprint for subsequent major international sporting events. It illustrates Japan powerful emergence on the world stage after the dark years of the Second World War, and it's how the Japanese design vision has influenced and still influences so much of what is now. Period 2 1965 to 1973 makes up the second time period after the Olympics. It gained a reputation as an economic powerhouse, and a new pace in its architectural development has started. The conflict started at a period when both sides were attempting to demonstrate their economic power. While yet living normal lives and enjoying leisure time, the Shinkansen's launch to coincide with the Olympics was the most significant social transport transformation of this period. As a result, the mobility and distribution have significantly improved and is now the potential to become world power. The standard a residential living has also been raised by completion of new housing and urban development projects. Period 3 The third period known as the Age of Maturity runs from 1974 to 1985. During the first and second periods, radical large-scale construction projects led to a multitude of issues, including air pollution, manufacturing disposal, and deterioration of the urban environment. 1974, the structures underwent a transformation and reached maturity as a result of the oil crisis, showing economic growth, changes in living standards, changes in the industrial structure and production, changes in the service sector of the distribution and changes in the structure of society itself. Period four, the fourth period which is the time after 1986 is, is when there was a personality, globalization was being pursued. It was the time to acknowledge tradition and Japan was simultaneously experiencing prosperity. Another way to put it is both acknowledging the new opportunities and reflecting on the past are necessary at the same time. Traditions and Cultures of Japan Understanding how modern architecture and traditional Japanese culture interact is essential to understanding Japanese modern architecture. Europe and the United States were faced with the issue of abstracting architectural characteristics into their most basic forms. As the world started to embrace international modernist design, in the 20th centuries, architects of Japan did not necessarily share this challenge. 
the principles of simplicity, honesty, and purity have influenced architecture for a large portion of Japanese history. Japan can claim that what the rest of the world might consider modern is actually their traditional. The development of modernist architecture in Japan has undoubtedly been fraught with these difficulties. However, what distinguishes these architects is their skillful fusion of contemporaneities with a reference for their past. Japan puts more effort than almost any other country towards upholding and reinterpreting its customs. Many Japanese artists have reinterpreted traditions through new creative forms like anime rather than merely allowing them to stagnate in repetitive repetition. Therefore, the evaluation of the significance of the contemporary Japanese identity is bigger cultural movement in Japan, one that includes architecture. With that said, let's look for a few traits that genuinely characterize contemporary Japanese architecture. One of its emphasis on straightforward forms and frank use of materials. Although these both are fundamental principles of contemporary architecture around the world, Japanese Shinto and Buddhist architecture has long been influenced by those concepts. Japanese architects have laid new guide for modern architecture, releasing innovative, functional, and aesthetic designs that are loaded around the world. By Tadao Ando, the most breathtaking residences, museum, cultural institution, and quiet areas has been created by contemporary Japanese architects who are visionary, poetic, and deeply connected to nature. Here are some Japanese architects that have paved the way for the rise of modern Japanese architecture. Kunyo Maekawa, an important contributor to the Japanese post-war mod modernism, was architect Kunyo Maekawa. He drew inspiration from his early professional work experiences in the offices of Le Corbusier and Antonin Raymond to create his distinctive architectural language with, which skillfully combined the elements of traditional Japanese architecture and modernist principle from Europe. His works at the Tokyo Bonkakaikan and the National Museum of Modern Art in Tokyo is particularly well known. His house which he designed and finished building in 1942 has been preserved and now permanently housed in the Edo Tokyo Open Air Architectural Museum. Kenzo Tange Kenzo Tange is a must to be mentioned in any discussion of modern Japanese architecture. He had significant role in the early stages of post-war urban planning Tange was familiar with both the brutalist and the metabolist approaches and later set his sights on creating mega constructions that would cover enormous areas rather than individual buildings. Tange, like many early modern architects, was greatly influenced by Swiss French architect Le Corbusier and likewise went his concrete as favorite media. In his role as a university professor and a pioneer of modern Japanese architecture, Tange taught a number of notable future architects. His creations continue to motivate aspiring architects today. He was the first architect from Japan to win the prestigious Pritzker Architecture Prize in 1987. One of his best works is the Yoyogi Gymnasium in Tokyo during the Tokyo Olympics 1964. Another known works of Tange are Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building and Fuji Television Building in Odaiba, Tokyo. Fumihiko Maki Fumihiko Maki is a key figure in the Expo 70 design team and a proponent of the Japanese metabolist movement. Had considerable impact on modern Japanese architecture. He frequently used metal, concrete, and glass as his medium and his structure frequently featured cutting-edge modern design with modular blocks in 1993. Maki became the second Japanese to receive the Pritzker Architecture Prize. His famous works are Makohan Messi Museum of Modern Art Kyoto, Shimin Museum of Ancient Izumo. 
Tadao Ando. Tadao Ando is one of the pioneers of the modern Japanese architecture. Tadao Ando was a member of the design team for the Expo 7B. Ando uses concrete extensively in his creation, many of which stand out sharply for their, from their surroundings. He is the most renowned for his work on Naoshima Island and is the third Japanese to have won the prestigious Pritzker's Architectures Award in 1995. The body of work by Tadao Ando is renowned for the innovative use of natural light and it's for a structure that mimic the natural shape of the environment rather than altering it by forcing it to fit the built space of the building. A common feature of Ando's structure is their intricate three-dimensional circular system. These spots be weave between interior and exterior spaces form both inside large-scale geometric shape in the spaces between them. In his 1976 cast in place concrete, two-story two -story row house in Sumiyoshi is an early piece that first exhibited characteristic of his distinctive style. It is made up of three equal rectangular volumes on an open courtyard separates, separates two enclosed volume of inner spaces. The placement of the courtyard is between the two main volumes make it crucial component of the home circular system. The home is renowned for its contrast between outward look and inside sp spatial arrangement, which enables visitors to appreciate the spatial richness contained with the geometry. A complicated maze of terraces and balconies, atriums and shafts makes Andes housing complex in Rocco, a suburb of Kobe. The design for Rocco Housing 1 and Rocco Housing 2 provides example of variety of concern found in classical architectural terminologies such as the interaction between solid and void, the choices between open and closed, and the contrast between light and darkness. Furthermore, the impressive engineering accomplishment of Ando in this conglomerate building is site-specific. The building which stood the great Hanshin earthquake in 1995 and harmed Paul Goldberger, an architectural critic for the New York Times, asserts, Ando is right in the Japanese tradition. Spareness has always been a part of Japanese architecture. At least since the 16th century, it is not without reason that Flank Floyd Wright more freely admitted to influences of Japanese architecture than anything American. In several of Ando's Haigo Hawaii building, site-specific decision-making for seas, says activity. Much as Wright's Imperial Hotel in Tokyo, Second Imperial Hotel 1923 19, to 1968, which did withstand the Great Khan earthquake of 1923. Next in line is Kikotaki Kiyonori. Kikotaki Kiyonori is a notable figure in Japan metabolist movement. Kikotaki Kiyonori had a significant impact on the evolution of the movement's principle and how they are reflected in architectural design. Many of his ideas are inspired by the concept of temporary and permanent spaces, where rooms can be configured based on their intended use at the time. He also mentored a number of aspiring architects in his office and he was a big fan of Igor Boucher. Hikotaki is, the, is most known for his 1958 Merlin City idea, which was included in the Metabolist Manifesto that was unveiled at the Tokyo World Design Conference in 1960 under the direction of Kenzo Tang. In 1961, he and fellow metabolist Kishoku Rokawa were selected to present their work at the Visionary Architecture Exhibition in New York, which helped the group acquire attention on global scale. Hikotaki Kiyonori kept up his professional till his passing in 2011, designed several public um, buildings across Japan and giving lectures abroad. Additionally, he served as the Japan's Institute of Architects President and then Honorary President. His famous, uh, his other famous works are Kyushu, Kyushu National Museum and Edo Tokyo Museum. Our next architecture is Kishu Kurokawa. 
Kishikurakawa is another architect associated with Expo 70 and the Japanese Metabolist Movement. He frequently worked in concrete and his design frequently features many lines, symmetry, repetitive patterns in addition to modular spaces. His known works are Fuki Dinosaur Museum, National Bunraku Theater in Osaka, and National Art Center in Robongi, Tokyo. Our next architect is Toyo Ito. Toyo Ito's structure are striking because of the way he used curves and glass. Ito's architecture often blurs the lines between reality and the virtual world, appearing to be out of the ordinary and challenging conventional notion of the architectural design. In 2013, he was awarded the Pritzker's Architecture Prize. His famous building works are Sendai Mediatek and Za Konji in Tokyo. Our next architect is Ken Okuma. One of today's hottest commodities in architecture is him. Every other notable buildings that opens in Japan seems to be designed by him and his company. His contemporary designs frequently make use of wood and lattice structure, and many of them are influenced by the surroundings and the local history of the area. His known building works are Olympic Stadium in Tokyo, Akagari Shrine in Kagurazaka, Toyami Kirari Glass Art Museum, Fujiya at Ginzan Onsen in Yamagata, and Nezu Museum in Tokyo. Besides speaking of the spirit of the architecture, people want to easily experience the spirit and beauty of nature through architecture. The incorporate of garden and backyard is common practice in Japanese architecture. The Nesu Museum house a large collection of things in a way that makes visitors feel as though they are strolling through the bamboo forest of the outside traditional Japanese garden. The creative use of the natural light and the structure that mimics the terrain, natural features rather than upsetting them by pushing them to adapt in the building's created space. In, in places, intricate three-dimensional circular paths are regularly observed. These paths crisscross internal and external spaces that have been constructed within and between enormous geometric construction. Our next architect is Shigeru Ban. Shigeru Ban gained national attention for creating inexpensive and easily erected temporary modular emergency shelters. Shelters for disaster victims were built by using tarp and hollow, spherical cardboard tube in Japan, New Zealand, Nepal, and other places. Indeed, a lot of Ban Shigeru's design utilizes materials that can be reused like paper tubes, shipping containers, and woods, among others. 2014 saw the awarding of Ban with the Pritzker's Architecture Prize. His famous work are Oita Prefectural Art Museum and Onagawa Station. Our next architect is Yoshio Taniguchi. Yoshio Taniguchi is yet another superstar of the Japanese architectural scene. He is best known for his design that features straight lines that seems to blend into their surroundings and for the buildings with angles that give them a two-dimensional appearance. He is the son of Taniguchi Yoshiro, a prominent architect. His known works are Horyuji Komotsulan at the Tokyo National Museum, Didi Suzuki Museum in Kanazawa, Tokyo Sea Life Park, Heisei Shishikan at the Kyoto National Museum, Mimoka Art Museum in Marugame, and Doman Ken Museum of Photography in Sakata, Yamagata. Let's talk about Architect Sana. Seiji Mai Kazuo and Nishizawa Ryu are the two architects who make up Sana. In 2010, they were awarded the Pritzker's Architectural Prize. Their creation frequently features several access points and are intended to blend into the environment. As independent architect, Sejima and Nishi Waza have created numerous landmark structures throughout the nation. Their famous building works is the 21st Century Museum of the Contemporary Art in Kanazawa. 
Lastly, but not the least architect is Hiroshi Hana. This architect uh, chosen mediums were steel, glass, and brushed steel surfaces, as evident by some of his more well-known pieces. He was written various studies on architecture and is also an author in that field. His known building works are the Kyoto Station and the Umeda Sky Building in Osaka. Other significant architectural building in Japan is Katsura Imperial Villa by Kobori Enshu. The Katsura Imperial Villa is renowned for its breathtaking strolling grounds and sand garden that are bursting with spiritual energy. The property is designed like the letter I and it has a bamboo balcony that looks out over the glistening ponds and is perfect for viewing the moon located in the western suburbs of Kyoto. The Katsura Imperial Villa is one of Japan's most significant large-scale buildings. This house is classic illustration of Japanese architecture that blends traditional and modern components. Every element of the construction revolves on the individual's experience since the Japanese place is a high-value experience. Today, many temple builders around the nation are beginning to consider the future. When creating temples for urban setting, architects honor the innovative and experimental tradition of Japan, of Japan while respecting the time-honored values of serenity and simplicity. An example of this temple is the Eyokun Nenbutsudo Temple. By creating a precise balance between a seemingly incompatible elements like contemporary and organic materials, light and darkness, and other and enclosed spaces, this can be achieved. Although Japanese temple architecture is changing, it nevertheless generates a mood that is congruent with the nation's timeless ideals. The Ekun Nenbutsudo Temple uses contemporary frames and materials to respond to its urban surroundings and a green terrace around the building to integrate natural elements. Like the nation itself, Japanese architecture has a long and illustrious past. Its traditional structure have a Chinese aesthetic roots, but modern Japanese structures incorporated ideas from the West that have been reinterpreted to fit Japan's demand and terrain. Japan is a country with beautiful architecture, from traditional building to modern buildings. Travelers to Japan can witness firsthand the influence that Japan has had on the field of the modern architecture. There is much more to see and enjoy in Japan architecture, whether you are interested in traditional culture or distinctive modern buildings. Japan has an ancient architecture tradition, but it's also at the forefront of modern design.